Export data from your favorite apps without a single click. Do it automatically with Coupler I.O. Just select the apps for transferring data, specify your preferences, and set a schedule for automatic updates. Coupler I.O. will keep refreshing your data without any manual effort from your side. Get rid of endless copy-pasting and tons of exported files. Thousands of professionals already use Coupler I.O. for collecting data, custom reporting, creating data backups, and analyzing metrics. And all this with greater efficiency and without human errors. Automate repetitive tasks and start saving time right now. Try Coupler I.O. for free. Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial with Learn at No Star. Today, we are going to be talking about a very popular SQL interview question and a very important scenario for retail organizations like Amazon. It is to identify the customer behavior over time. So, whether to identify whether it's a new customer, a repeating customer, or even track the whole customer life cycle in terms of whether it's a new customer, whether it's an active customer, or a lapsed customer. These factors will help them to identify the customer behavior over time, what are the factors that affect them, and so on. So, let's get started. We are going to be working with a simple table called Table Orders. It has only three columns, Order Date, Order Key, and Customer ID. So we have some customer ID samples in this table who have placed orders on different dates. Now for the first part, we are just going to write a very simple query that is going to identify whether the customer is a new customer or a repeating customer. Now this is the most popular approach to writing this query. So we are going to handle this first. And and then we are going to dig a little bit deeper and track the entire customer life cycle as new, active or lapsed customer by taking a different approach to writing this query. So let's get started. So in the first scenario, we are just going to identify whether the customer is a new customer or a repeating customer. To do that, we are going to identify the first date on which the customer placed his order. So to do that, we are going to use the minimum function and we are going to find out the minimum order date for each customer. So minimum order date over partition by customer ID. And we can call it as minimum order date. If we execute this query, it's going to give us the minimum order date or the first order date for each customer. So here you can see that customer ID 11 has a minimum order date of 3rd of January 2021. Customer ID 18 has a minimum order date of 30th of January 2022. So once we have this information, we're simply going to match the current order date for that row with the minimum order date. If that date is equal to the minimum order date, it's a new customer. The next date, which is 13th of February, the minimum order date will not be equal to 13th of February, which means that now the customer is a repeating customer. So on 3rd January, the customer was a new customer. On 13th February, he was a repeating customer and so on. So because we're going to use the minimum order date information, which we have derived from this particular query, so we are going to put this within a CD. So we can just say minimum order as... And then we can use this information to write a final query. And now I'm just going to do that comparison. So I'm going to use a case statement, case when order date is equal to minimum order date. Then we can set a kind of a flag. That is the most popular way of approaching this problem. So we can say then one, as zero and as so when order date is equal to minimum order date that means it's a new customer so we can call the flag as a is new customer and from the city that we uh, defined above so from minimum order CD. So now if you execute this whole query you will see that there's a flag over here that is set to one every time 
it's a new customer so on 3rd of january 2021 the customer id 11 was a new customer so the flag is set to one and all the other dates he was a repeating customer and then on 30th of january 2022 customer id 18 came as a new customer and after that he made some repeated purchases as well so this is one simple way of identifying a new or a repeating customer but what if we want to identify a little bit deeper and we want to identify a new customer an active customer or a lapsed customer or an inactive customer so you have to define your active and inactive customers which we can define in any way so the way we are going to define is so we can define an active customer as someone who has made a purchase and between any two continuous purchases, the gap is not more than let's say six months or 180 days or an inactive customer on the other hand would be one who has made a purchase and for the next let's say six months he did not make any purchase and after let's say eight or ten months he made another purchase so between that period he was an inactive customer so this information can be useful to business and they can uh, identify more factors which cause the customer to be inactive and so on so this is a query that we're going to write and this active inactive can be defined by business in different ways some business can define it as one year of no activity some business can define it as uh, 10 months of no activity and so on so for our purpose we are going to define it as six months to write that kind of a query what we need to do is first order the customer purchase in the order of the order date so for that what we are going to do is uh, first let's start with a select query so select star from table orders and then I'm going to calculate the leg order date and then I can find a difference between the current order date of the row and the previous order date. So I'm going to use the lag function and leg order date again over partition by customer ID and I also need to order by the order date to get the correct previous order date for that particular customer and I can call it as leg order date so if I just execute this query what I'm going to get is the previous order date for that particular customer so you can see that on 3rd of January 2021 there is no previous order date and the leg order date would be null in that case and then we can compare the order date with the previous order date and find out the difference so let's write a query on top of this query because we want to use the results of this query again we are going to contain the results of this query within a cde so let's just call it with lag orders as And then we can write a final query, which is going to be select star. And the next query is just comparing, again, a case statement, comparing the lag order date with the order date. But for the first statement, we can just say case when lag order date is null. Then we can define the customer as a new customer. The second condition that we're going to check is okay now we're going to check the difference between the leg order date and the order date so to find the difference in terms of days we have to use the date difference function so when date difference in days between the leg order date and the order date As let's say our criteria is six months so is greater than 180 days or 180 days okay then we are going to mark the customer as lapsed customer else we are going to mark the customer as an active customer and as let's say status customer from the CTE that we defined above so from leg orders is it leg order or leg orders leg orders so now if we execute this query 
we're going to get the customer status as a new column so you can see that for the first order the customer status is new then for the second order which was placed on 13th february so the first order for, was placed on 3rd of january the second on 30th of february so the time interval between them is approximately a month so we are going to consider the customer as active similarly for 30th of april he is still active but after 30th of april he made the next purchase on 20th of december 2021 so there is a large gap which is more than six months and that's why we have marked the customer as lapsed during this period so for the business can dig deeper into this and identify the factors which cause the customer to be lapsed similarly again he got active after the lapse status and for the new the next customer that came in he came in as a new customer on 30th of january 2022 and is still in the active status so this is how you can identify the customer status using the lag order date first identify the lag order date and write the simple query so as you have already seen these queries are simple enough um, you just need to be aware of these windows functions to be able to write these queries but the information that these queries provide is very important for the business so it's always a good idea to brush up on your windows function because most of the queries that are asked by these organizations are based on windows functions because they are very powerful and very useful i hope that you found the video useful all the sql queries and the practice data is available in the link in the description below if you like the video then please do consider subscribing to our youtube channel channel and like comment and share this video if you have any more queries that you want answered please feel free to post them and we'll do our best to answer those queries as well thanks again for watching thank you goodbye